still have some leftover clouds right now, but more clearing happening tonight. And Andrew is with us now to talk about what's happening up there in the sky. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be an active weekend for all of you that want to look up towards the heavens. I want to start off here with the lead in meteor shower that is going to peak this weekend. Not going to be one of the bigger storms that we've seen back in 2002. You could see up to 1000 meteors per hour, more of a uh, meteor drizzle for this particular year, about maybe about 15 to 25 per hour. The comet of origin here is Temple Tuttle, but they get their name the lead in meteor shower from looking towards the constellation Leo. They hit the Earth's atmosphere very quickly, 44 miles per second or roughly over 150,000 miles per hour. Now, We've got a little bit of an issue here when it comes to moonlight. More on that in a second. But the most important thing is here, how, do we, how does a comet cause a meteor shower? Well, it has to do with the fact that comets, they have a very long tail. Some of them are actually millions of miles long. And the sun heats up the comet and it leaves behind tiny little debris. We're talking about particles that are less than a millimeter wide. And when they hit the Earth's atmosphere, you see that streak going across the sky. That's how we get a meteor shower. Sometimes when they're a little bit bigger than a millimeter, that's how you can get some of those longer, really dramatic, bright streaks across the sky. But it's all about the comet nucleus and tail here with some of those very small particles coming off the comet being left behind. And as we go through the path of Temple Tuttle, that's how we get the Leonid meteor shower. Now I was talking about the moon, the beaver supermoon causing a bit of an issue because well, it's going to be at its brightest as we go through this weekend, even though technically the full moon is roughly right around right now. It's still going to appear full as we go throughout the weekend and also supermoon appears larger and brighter. Why is it called the beaver supermoon? Well, we're getting towards winter. Beavers start to take shelter and stock up before we get to the winter. So unfortunately, unless we get a particularly bright meteor streaking across the sky, Brian, not exactly going to be the best viewing conditions, not because of Mother Nature, but because of the moon that is going to be so bright, but also beautiful this weekend. We have to check out the moon too. All right. I love it. All right. Thank you.